Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I was passing through the makeup section in CVS like one does, you know. <laughs> and I stumbled upon this brand called W7. I had never heard of it before I saw it in CVS and immediately I was intrigued. I love trying new brands and immediately I noticed that this brand was basically comprised of dupes of high-end makeup. I immediately honed in on their eyeshadow palettes, mostly dupes of Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. There's a palette that's duping the Too Faced Born this way. There is one duping one of the Huda Beauty palettes just basically a ton of dupes so i immediately jumped online because i was intrigued to see what this brand was about and i found out that w7 was started in 2002 by two gentlemen out of the uk i do know that there are a lot of videos on youtube from creators from the uk that actually talk about this brand but i don't know how long it's been in cvs in the us you guys may have heard of it most of my viewers and subscribers are from the us so if you guys have heard of this brand and tried anything i'd love to hear in the comments whether or not you really found quality in these because I picked up a bunch of stuff you guys I don't know what the quality is going to be like I'm really surprised that a lot of these dupes a lot of them were very obvious some of them I kind of had to think about for a little while and I'm even surprised to see that they've duped some drugstore makeup or at least what I think they're duping were affordable brands we have a full face so let's get into it on the screen I'm going to be showing you guys what the prices were against the prices for the high-end items or just the items that they're duping in general they are an affordable dupe brand they have on their website claimed that they have over 500 products in their line I didn't go through the entire website but there's a lot more there that wasn't carried in CVS so most of these items that I have I do have dupes for there are a couple of cheats <laughs> but we'll get into that when we get Get into it i thought we would start with the eyeshadow palette first because i don't know what the quality is going to be like from w7 and if there's any fallout i want to be able to try and clean it up i did mention that there were several palettes several popular high-end palettes that they've duped several of them were from abh the one that i ended up picking up was a dupe for the soft glam this one is called the romance palette neutrals in love they even put in the small brush. It's pretty affordable. This palette, I believe, was only $8.59 US at my CVS. So let's hold them side by side. The ABH one is on my right, and then the one from W7 is on my left. The thing I noticed the most is that the black shades in the bottom corner, they're not as dark. This one is a lighter color. It almost looks kind of gray, where the one from ABH is very, very dark. Otherwise, the color story looks pretty similar. So we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm gonna create the same look. I'm gonna use the W7 on the left side of my face and everything that they're duping on the right side. I'm gonna tell you the shades that I'm gonna reach into on the ABH palette, and then I'm just gonna grab the same shades on the W7 Romanced palette. They're not named the exact same, but they're all in the same exact placement, so you guys will know which ones I'm reaching for. So from the ABH palette, I'm actually going to start with this all over. I'm gonna drag this one in the crease. I'm putting this more burgundy shade in the outer corner, and I'm gonna use two shimmers. So I'm gonna start this one in the middle of the lid, and this one is going in the inner corner of the crease. I figured I would just speed through the portion of me applying both of them so you could see if there was any patchiness issues and how they went on and whether or not I took more time blending. That may be a little bit difficult to see, but I will tell you. I will be using the exact same brushes. I've already primed my eyes and set them. So we'll see if there's any difference in the way that they apply. But yeah, I am gonna use the same set of brushes and just use my little quick color remover pad here as I'm going. Let's do the one from ABH on the right side first.
your back. That was pretty similar. The mattes blended almost identically. The biggest difference that I found is that this mulberry shade here from the ABH palette is more burgundy in tone on my eye. They made this one in Desire a little bit more brown and less burgundy. The shimmer formula felt so similar. Let me swatch two of the shades. This one's called Ever After in the W7 palette. Do you see how the shimmers are like on the chunkier side? That's very similar to what ABH does. This shimmer in rose pink is in the same spot. It's a little bit different of a formula, but still very, very creamy and like powdery. Oh, so much powder. That's just an ABH thing. But honestly, they're very, very similar in formula. I would say though that the ABH is, is softer. The W7 one has more tack. They didn't formulate these two shimmers identically, but they kind of apply the same. When you're getting them to the eye, they don't like look that different. And ABH is a powdery or formula anyway. And I feel like this W7 one was also. I was thinking as I was applying the eyeshadow that maybe they're trying to also mimic the formula in these because the mattes were just very, very similar. They were blending very similarly. The biggest difference, like I said, were the two deeper shades. This one, from w7 just wasn't pulling as much pigment in on this shade and it's not the same tone either so i was kind of trying to build it up this one from abh is prettier in my opinion it's just a better tone and like a cooler toned burgundy whereas this one's a little bit more warm so overall they're pretty they're pretty close it's hard for me to kind of compare a palette that i absolutely love so much i think the soft glam palette is one of my favorite all-time palettes so for them to put out something like this and me to compare against a palette that i think is like one of my all-time palettes it's really difficult to say that they did a really good job but they did do a really good job i did not find any issues with the formulation on any of these there wasn't over blending with the eyeshadows so so far it's pretty good i do want to jump into a lip mask because they also do have a lip mask dupe. They have a strawberry overnight lip mask and I'm gonna put it up against the Laneige lip sleeping mask. So Laneige is a very, very popular lip sleeping mask. And I think even in this color here, in this pink packaging, and I'm pretty sure that this product is duping that. The biggest difference that I noticed right away with these products is the one from W7 is actually in a glass container where the Laneige is in a plastic container. I have used my Laneige, so it's not brand, brand new. So you can see like I have dipped into this. We're gonna put this one on this side and we're gonna use this one on this one. I think that a lot of people really like this lip mask. I actually don't think it's as thick as I like. So let's go into the one from W7 next. This one from W7 is so thick. So actually I prefer the one from W7 so far more than the one from Laneige. People may really like the thin formula from Laneige and that I just might be the odd man out on that. But yeah, this one's thicker, so I preferred this one a little bit more. Let's move on into primer. So the primer was a little bit difficult. They definitely had a lot of primers that you could tell were duping higher end products, but I don't have any of those in my collection. The one from W7 that I want to pair up against another one is called the Prime Magic Primer. I think this was actually trying to dupe the Smashbox Primer. The one that I think it is similar in terms of texture is the All Nighter Primer from Urban Decay. So we are gonna pair these two up against each other. I think they they both do similar things. I think that they're supposed to both be like just an overall kind of all nighter or more mattifying grippy primer. So we will pair these two against each other. This is definitely duping the Smashbox, but we will make do. They feel very similar, but this one is more silicone-y than the one from Urban Decay, which is a kind of a cross between like a silicone-y texture and a lotion-y texture. It's more like a gel. Next, I wanna go into brows. This is clearly duping the ABH Brow Wiz. This is the Stroke of Genius brow pencil. I do not have the ABH Brow Wiz either. I had that for the longest time. That was one of my favorite formulas, but I don't have that in my collection. So I am gonna cheat and I'm gonna throw this on both sides today and just see how the formula kind of compares. This one feels like it's on the chalkier side. Let me just go ahead and throw this on. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is such a similar formula. It's actually kind of a long lasting kind of smudge proof formula. It's very similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz 
It has a little bit of creaminess, but not too much. Really good formula on this. They only came with two shades in this line, or at least that's what was being sold in the CVS. And this is a really dark color. I could not go lighter because this was the lightest one. This one is in brunette. The next one that they had was like a medium brown, but it was even darker on like the little display there. I could tell it was darker. It looks like it's pretty dark right now on my eyes without mascara or anything else on like no foundation or anything like that. I think the formula was really similar to the ABH. Now let's go into the foundation. Now I have to say with the foundation, I was pretty sure what it was duping. Again, I find it a little funny that they're duping a more affordable brand, but I cannot imagine what this packaging would be duping other than this foundation. So the foundation from W7 is called the Genius Featherweight Foundation, Feather Light Foundation, pardon me. And I'm pretty sure it's duping the Catrice HD Liquid Foundation. The reason that I think that it's duping it is because they're literally almost identical, but Catrice is a more affordable line. I'm a little flabbergasted that they're duping not only high-end products, but also drugstore. If this is duping something else, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think it's duping. Let's go into the right side first. It's been a minute since I've used this foundation from Catrice. In my experience, these droppers absolutely suck, but they are identical. Here's the W7, here's the one from Catrice. I may have gotten a shade that is too dark in the W7 because I did purchase that one online. This one from Catrice is in the shade light beige, so it should work. I'm just going to bounce it in with a sponge. This one is like a watery, super watery formula from W7. So it's not exactly the same. So I don't know if it was exactly duping this one from Catrice. It just feels like what other bottle that's a popular product could it possibly be duping in this packaging? But yeah, they're a very, very different formula. I'm gonna use the other side of the sponge to bounce this in as well. I would say they look like they have about the same amount of coverage. Again, if you guys know that what foundation this one is duping, please do let me know. Otherwise, I feel like they were going after this one with their version of it. Let's move on into concealer. Concealer was another area where I felt like it was a little bit difficult. And I only found one concealer. And they did carry this at CVS, but this was also one that I saw online. This is their HD concealer. I don't know exactly what product this was duping. It kind of looks like it was the Tarte Shape Tape, especially because it has this really thick doe foot applicator. I no longer have this Tarte Shape Tape in my collection, so I thought we would just use this anyway, even though I do not have the Tarte Shape Tape, but it just feels like it. It's a thicker formula. It's definitely on the stickier side. Let's start on the right side and we'll bounce this in. I'd say it's about medium coverage. It feels more lightweight than the one from Tarte and a more hydrating formula. But yeah, this is either duping like a, the CoverGirl one that's like this or the Tarte Shape Tape. That's what I think it's duping. But again, you guys, if you do know what that is duping, please do let me know. Let's move on into powder. So the one that I picked up from W7 is the Matte Dreamer powder. And I kind of feel like this may have been duping a NYX one or even potentially one from Makeup Forever. But it also could be duping the Laura Mercier so that is what I'm going to pair it against. The Laura Mercier powder was really, really popular. So it's highly possible that it was really duping that product because it had such success and such recognition. The one from Laura Mercier does have a brighter color to it. Mine is in the shade Translucent. This one is a little bit more tinted, but as far as like the way that they look on the skin, they look very similar. They're very smoothing. They're very airbrushing, very blurring. I have this one in the shade Plastic Cameo. I don't remember if they had a Translucent. I guess I kind of grabbed quickly. This easily could be a dupe. Honestly, I think the one from this side, just upon application, is even more smoothing than the one from Laura Mercier. I have so many bronzers to go over. They duped so many bronzers, you guys. So the first one is absolutely an obvious dupe. This is the Hollywood Bronze and Glow, and they are clearly duping the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I got mine here from Charlotte in a mini, so it does come in a larger packaging, but these are identical. It, there's no doubt about it that they were trying to dupe the Charlotte Tilbury one. The only thing that I can see first off right away is that this one from W7 has luminosity in the bronzer where Charlotte's is completely matte. And they also did have another bronzer. This was a cream bronzer. This was the Bronze Chic. 
I actually think they're duping another ABH bronzer, but I do not have that one. So we are going to pair it up against the Chanel Le Beige bronzer. I was in Ulta the other day and I almost walked out with the ABH one. These are very, very similar shades. Honestly, they're just not very different. Let's go over the other one. That's an obvious, obvious dupe. So W7 came out with their Honolulu bronzer and they're duping the Benefit Hula bronzer. This one is just a mini, but yeah, exactly kind of the same packaging. This one just pulls off from W7. It doesn't actually like flip up like the other ones, but it does come with a brush in here, just like the one from Benefit. Same style packaging, 100% was duping that bronzer. I think that we're going to try all of these. I'm gonna start with the cream bronzer first, then I'm going to go into the bronze and glow to top and set the cream on the cheeks, and then we'll go into the Honolulu slash Hulu bronzers on the forehead. Very similar color, very similar texture. I actually think they might be duping the Chanel one. Now that I'm using it, they smell almost the same. And Chanel has such a strong scent and it's like a signature thing that they do with their makeup products that why would this smell so perfumey if it wasn't trying to dupe the Chanel one. They're just very similar both in tone and in formula. They're both a cream to powder finish. They both are very like smooth and powdery on the cheeks. I don't even know if you can tell which one is which. This one here is the one from W7 and that one there is the one from Chanel. Now let's go ahead and top the cream bronzers that we've put down with the bronze and glow. That one has quite a bit of luminosity where this one from Charlotte is like completely matte. So it's not an exact dupe. It's a good formula though. A lot of product was picking up on my brush and you can see that sheen. So if you like um, a shiny bronzer, I think that one is a good one. We're also gonna use these for the highlighters that are in there. But let me go ahead and put the one from W7 on this side and the one from Benefit on the right side. It's actually really, really similar. They're both a powder formula, so it's kind of hard to tell. They're both matte, but that aside, the shade is very similar. They both have like this reddish undertone to them, and I don't necessarily notice which one is which. They're just very, very similar in color. So that one I think is a really, really good dupe. I found one of their blushes in CVS that looked really, really good, but I have no idea what it's duping. Again, if you guys know, just let me know in the comments. This is called their Candy Blush, and this one is in the shade Gossip. It's just a matte powder blush. It does have a mirror inside. It is a really bouncy, very kind of creamy formula. It has a lot of stick to it. So it's one that I think might be a little bit more long lasting. So we might have a tricky time getting this to really blend in. So I'm actually gonna just kind of bounce it in instead of swiping. Beautiful shade, beautiful matte formula, very easy to blend in. Nothing wrong with this. Very nice. It's really pretty on the cheeks. Very nice formula. Don't know what it's duping. Again, you guys know, you let me know in the comments. Let's move on into the highlighter really quickly. So I'm going to throw the one on from Charlotte Tilbury on the right side and the one from W7 on the left. I just swatched them side by side and they are very different. This one from Charlotte is on the lighter side and the one from W7 is actually much punchier and it's a creamier formula. I think I still stand by this one is punchier than the one from Charlotte and it's just a smoother texture. It definitely is more of a soft formula than the one from Charlotte. They're both beautiful, but I wish this actually came with a matte one instead of like a shimmery bronzer because I would even say like this one would be worth getting over the one from Charlotte. I prefer the bronzer in this one more, the highlighter in this one more. Let's move on into mascaras. So I think they actually had a lot of different mascara dupes. The one of the mascaras that I picked up that looked really good was the Flirty Eyes Mascara. 
and it was really hard to tell what it was duping. I kind of feel like they may be duping something from like CoverGirl because CoverGirl has a lot that are in this style packaging, kind of this shape, but this one is more volumizing and this one is a false lash mascara, so I don't think it's identical. The one that I do want to try today is a very obvious dupe. So W7 came out with the More Lashes mascara and it is definitely duping the Roller Lash from Benefit. Even very similar wands, the one on the right is from Benefit and the one on the left here is W7. So they are very, very similar. So a very obvious dupe. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the one from Benefit on the right eye. Now going in to the one from W7 on the left eye. You guys, those were so similar. It was really hard to tell. I do have to say that there are a little bit of difference. The one from Benefit, it's a wetter formula. And so it gives you more time to build. I could feel this tugging on my lashes because it was a drier formula. And I feel like the one from Benefit separated my lashes a little bit more, but this is a damn good mascara. Honestly, it takes a while for me to either love or hate a mascara. It is uncommon for me to fall in love with a mascara like upon first application and I really really enjoyed using this one. We are now moving on to lip products you guys. These are obvious obvious dupes. I have two of them. So the one from W7 is called the Major Mattes and it is definitely duping the Huda Beauty Matte formula. They are very similar in packaging. It was a little bit tricky to get similar shades. There was kind of a limited supply or what looked like a limited supply of the W7 ones and I already had these Huda Beauty ones in my collection. So these are not similar shades even though the packaging kind of looks similar. I also don't don't have identical formulas. The one from Huda is the cream lipstick. The one from W7 is the matte. I do not want to compare these two against each other because unfortunately I do have mine in the cream format from Huda Beauty and the one from W7 is actually the matte format. Even though Huda does make the mattes, it's not going to be an exact dupe wearing it. So I do want to try on the other dupes that I have. So this is the Lippy Chic from W7 and it's definitely duping if you recognize the packaging. The lipsticks from MAC. I tried really hard to get these ones in similar shades. These are both a satin formula. This one here is from W7 and then this one is MAC. I have mine in Mullet Over from MAC and then this one from W7 is in the shade Banter. By the way, I did want to mention you guys, these ones don't have like shades. Honolulu is their shade for W7 and the Hula one is just the regular original Hula from Benefit. And the one from W7, the Bronze and Glow is also no shade. This one from Charlotte Tilbury is in Light to Medium but this only comes in one color or color story from W7. So I just kind of wanted to mention that. We're gonna go with the Mac on the right side. Yeah, are not gonna match and that's okay. I love the Mac formula, so this better be good. Mac is creamier. Mac is much creamier. It feels so good going on on the Mac side. I do wanna top it with a gloss just so that I can maybe meld these colors together. Their glosses were interesting. They had some hot shot glosses, which I think are definitely duping some of the Too Faced products, but I did not wanna try those because I really don't like a plumping gloss. So I just picked up another one that I don't think is actually duping anything. I mean, it could be, but there's so many things out there that it could be duping. This is just their clear gloss. And I thought we would just throw this on on top and kind of see what the formula was like see if it was any good this is on the thinner side i'm not picking up a whole lot on this doe foot applicator after i dipped the doe foot applicator in quite a few times i was able to pick up a nice amount of gloss it is actually really really pretty gloss it's definitely a high shine it's pretty it is also very comfortable formula i have one thing left and it is the primer and i'm pretty sure that they're also duping another nyx product again i could be wrong so if you guys know you let me know in the comments, but this is the matte fixer from W7 and I have it against the NYX matte finish. It's definitely gonna be hard to spray one side of the face and like not hit the other one, but I'm gonna do my best. It was really hard not to think that the W7 wasn't duping the one from NYX. Whoa, that sprays everywhere. I don't know what it was doing. <laughs> it was like, shooting out onto my neck. Okay, I didn't like that sprayer. It is hard to think though, that W7 isn't duping some of these affordable brands just from the products that I've shown you. That one from NYX was a little bit better, but they're both a little bit crazy in the spray department. So that was all of the dupes that I had. I can't say that I didn't struggle in trying to determine what the products were that they were duping in some cases. Some of them were very obvious. I still wanted to give the brand a shot and to mention it here on my channel because if it is a good brand, it's really affordable. And because most of us are on a pretty decent budget these days, it's nice to find a brand 
brand that's more affordable and that can put out products that are very similar to some of our all-time favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know that I wasn't the most versed on what W7 was duping and you guys may know of more of the brands that they're duping. So you guys educate me. I'd love to hear it. I'm out of here you guys and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.